It's been well over a year now since I've been using Fluent CRM and I am super excited to tell you that it has held really strong and to date I've sent over 1.4 million emails and I also have a contact list of 6,700 users. Now this is quite amazing because when I started off I did not think that Fluent CRM was able to achieve this because Fluent CRM was a brand new company. I can tell you right now I haven't had any issues and I am still using it. So in this video I want to help you set up email marketing and automation on your WordPress website. I'm setting this up on a brand new WordPress website. So the first thing you want to do is to come over here to plugins and click on add new. Now Fluent CRM comes with two plugins. They have the free version and the pro version, but we are not going to spend too much time on the free version because it's limited in features. So here you want to search for Fluent CRM, hit enter. I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. All I have to do is to activate it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next, I'm going to head over here to my account to download the pro version. I also have a 20% discount. I'll include the link to that in the video description below. So here is Fluent CRM. I'm going to copy my license key like that. Download it. Come over here to my site. Add new. And now I need to upload it. I'm just going to drag and drop it here. Click on install now and then activate it. Now I need to enter my license key. So I'm going to come over here to Fluent CRM. Come all the way down here to settings. So this now is giving us uh, this wizard, which we, not, which we need to go through. So it's important that we might as well just fill this in in the beginning because you don't want to be spending time later on uh, going back and forth, setting this all up. So let's click on let's go. So here we need to enter our business name, enter the address. And if you have a logo, you can upload your logo here, but I'm going to skip that for now and click on next. Now this part here is very, very important because you want to make sure you set up your lists before you actually start using Fluent CRM and you will see how important this is. So I'm going to add two lists here. So the first list is going to be for my subscribers and my second list is going to be my contacts. So let's click on next. Now we are going to do the same with the tags as well. So I'm going to enter my first tag, which is subscribers. And I'm also going to say contacts. So how we're going to use this is we are going to have a form where we are going to build our mailing list. So this will be the um, subscribers tag. And we're also going to have a contact form on our website and we are going to tag them with the uh, tag name contacts. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on next. So now it's saying install Fluent Forms. We might as well go ahead and do that. This is absolutely free. So we are going to now click on complete installation. Now the reason why I'm installing Fluent Forms is because we are going to use Fluent Forms as our main form because it easily integrates with Fluent CRM. Okay, so now that we have this all done, we can now click on go to CRM. So over here on the right, we have some steps which are checked off when we've completed them. So the next step here is to import contacts. So let's say you were using something like MailChimp or ConvertKit. This is where you'd click here and import all your contacts. So at the moment, we don't have any, but if you wanted to see how this works, you can just click here on import and you can see here that we have import from other service providers. So this is very important because it makes the import process very, very easy. So you'll just click on that and then continue and you know download all your contacts. But in this case, we don't have that. But if you don't use any of these, that's still fine because you can use a CSV file. Our next step here is to create a campaign. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here on create a campaign. And now I'm going to create my first email campaign. Give it a name. So I'm just gonna call this test, create campaign. And now we have several options here that we can use to create our email. So this one here is a standard text editor, but if we come over here, we have a visual builder. So I really prefer using the visual builder here. So if you wanted to create a brand new one, uh, you would come over here, but we also have uh, a template here that we can start off with. But let's go ahead with blank and so that you can see how easy it is to work on this. So if you want to start adding all your content, what you need to do is to drag and drop what it is you want to add over here. So let's say it's a heading. We can just drag and drop it here like that. And at any point, if you want to delete this, you can just come over here, hit delete, and now it's gone. So let us uh, create an email here. I'm going to drag and drop my text block. And let's say we want to add an image. What we need to do is to close out of here and now you can see we have all these options. So we can just drag and drop this over here. And now we can upload our image by clicking on upload image. 
So right now we don't have any, any images here in our media library, but if we did, we can just go ahead and add them. So to upload an image, you can just keep here, click here on Upload Files. I'm gonna select my files here. So I'm gonna go with this image here, click on Insert, and now you can see my image has been added. Again, if you want to add another element, you can just scroll back up here, click this to close, and now we want to add a button. So I'm gonna click, drag, and drop it here. Now we can give our button a title. Okay, so now that we have all this information, anything that you want to add needs to come over here on the right. So make sure you've selected the elements. So for example, I have the button here selected. This is where you'd add your button URL like that. And you can decide to open this in a new tab. Now, if you wanted to go in and change the background color, you can just click over here and you can see now the color is changing. So it's very, very easy to use. You can also change your global font here. But we're gonna, we are going to keep things very simple here. Now that I have my email all set, we can now continue to the subject setting. And this is our email subject. I can add an email pre-header over here, but I'm gonna leave that as it is. Click on next. And this is where now the importance of the list comes in. So you can now send this email based on the list that you, the, the list that you have on your website. So here we have just the one, which is the subscribers. In fact, we have two subscribers and contacts. And as you can see, we don't have any subscribers in here, which is fine. But let's say you wanted to send an email to your contact. This is where you would select your contact. And if you wanted to exclude any from the list, you could come over here, click on this drop down, and you could exclude whatever it is that you want to exclude. So once you've done that, now you can hit continue to next step. But right now it says error, no subscribers. That's because we don't have any subscribers in our mailing list. But this is how you would send your emails. So back over here on the dashboard, let's take a look at our next step, which is creating an automation. So I'm gonna click here on create an automation, click on this plus button here. So our automation is really, really amazing here because you can decide to set up your automation based on different types of triggers. So again, let's call this test. So here we are going to say when uh, someone is applied to a specific list, then this is going to uh, start. Or we can say when a tag is uh, added, we can start this by uh, using this option here. We also have WordPress triggers. So if someone signs up, again, this can uh, trigger this automation. So what we're going to do is we are going to say when a tag is applied and then we hit continue. So our automation here is going to start when a tag is applied. So the tag I'm going to use is let's say subscribers. I'm going to scroll down here and click on save settings. Right. So this is how it works now. So when a tag is applied, now we can click on add action. So from here, we can say delay we can add a delay here of uh, maybe one hour. Save settings. Click again on this plus button, add another action. If we scroll down here, we also have more options. We can even say send custom email. So if we come over here, we can send a custom email. So this could be a thank you for signing up or for becoming a subscriber. And if you have something to give away, this is where you would uh, add it over here. So let's just add a dummy email here. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down here. And in fact, you know what? We need to give it a label. So let's call this a thank you. And then if we scroll all the way down here, we need to give this an email subject. And then we can just hit save settings. So how this is going to work is once we activate it here by changing the status from draft to published, every time someone signs up onto our mailing list and they get a tag, it's going to wait for one hour and then send a thank you email. So we can continue and add more options here. And there's also some advanced uh, features, like for example, if we add this conditional uh, action here, so we can ask it to check a condition. So if I click here on add, so we have options here on the contact. We also have options here on the tags. So we are going to say check condition if the tag is, uh, let's say, includes subscribers, and then I'm going to say save. So now it's getting very exciting because on our condition here, this system here now checks if the tag is subscribers. If not, then we can add more actions here. If the answer is yes, we can come over here 
and say maybe end this funnel here, save changes. Now over here, we can add more options. We can say, okay, add notes or activities. So here you can add a note. So let's call this test. And this is a note. So you can say call, email, uh, set a meeting and so on. So I'm gonna say email and then save settings. So based on this condition over here, if the answer is no, then I can add a note, but over here on the right, if the answer is yes, I can end the automation here. And we can also always continue adding more items here. So again, I can say wait one day and I can hit save and continue on. And this will be executed based on that. So as you can see, this is a very, very powerful system. And you can use this because this also integrates with WooCommerce. It also integrates with um, LearnDash and all those other systems. Okay, so this is our automation. Let's go back to our dashboard and see what else we can do. Now over here, it's asking us to create a form. So we need a way to get people to sign up to our mailing list or even go onto our contact page. So I'm gonna say create first form and I'm gonna keep things very, very basic here. I'm gonna add an opt-in form. So I'm gonna give this a title. I'm gonna call it subscribers. And now it's asking me to add to a list. So I'm gonna choose subscribers. And it's also asking me to add a tag. So I'm gonna go with subscribers tag. And then over here, there's an option to double opt-in or not. So I'm not gonna add in double opt-in, but if you need to do that, you can always go ahead and select it. So if I now say create a form, I can take this form ID by copying it like that. Now over here on my site, I have a page. So I'm gonna come over here to all pages because I created a list building page. I'm gonna say edit with Divi build from scratch and then I'm going to add my text module in here and I'm now going to paste that code that I copied a moment ago and then save. Now over here to the right you can add an image, you can add pretty much whatever you want. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to search for my image module. So I already have an image here, upload an image and then save. So I know this is ugly, but uh, this is for demo purposes only. So I'm gonna save this page and exit the Visual Builder. Now, before we can send emails, we need to connect our emails to a sending service. So in this case, I'm going to use SendGrid. So let's go ahead and go to SendGrid. Now back over here on our website, we also need to install a plugin called Fluent SMTP. So this is going to allow us to send our emails out and also to have all our automations working. So now I am going to come over here to my plugins and then click on add new. Now, once I connect this, this is just gonna make the whole system work. So it's called Fluent SMTP. So here it is, I'm gonna click install and then activate. So now that it's activated, the next step is to head over here to settings and then click on Fluency SMTP. So these are the email providers that it works with. So this is now going to connect with Fluent CRM and all the automations, the ending, the sending of the emails is now going to work efficiently. So let's click here on send grid. So what I need to do now is to come over here to send grid because all I need is my API key and then add it onto Fluent CRM. So the reason why I highly recommend uh, SendGrid is because it's very, very easy to set up. And if you take a look here at their pricing, this is fantastic because if you're just starting off, you can send 100 emails per day forever for free. So you can actually start off free over here. Now I have an account, so I'm gonna come over here to sign in. So I'm here in my uh, email account. So what I need to do is to head over here to my settings scroll all the way down and what I need here is API keys. So we need to copy the API key here, come back to our website. So this is where you want to add your from email address. So in this case, it would be mac at funnels to income.com. And then over here from name, you enter your name. And then over here is where you want to enter your API key. So once you've entered that, that means the whole system now is going to work. You can send emails, the automations can happen and everything that you've set up is going to work flawlessly. So what I've done here is to show you how to set this up as a basic system, but there are so many functions that Fluent CRM has and I'll be doing further tutorials to show you the power of Fluent CRM. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.